Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I'm Crypto Kip, and today we are going to be talking about Crypto.com coin in depth here. And we're going to be talking a little bit about some of the really huge news that's coming out. There's a lot of really large crypto influencers right now that are very, very upset and very, very worried about DeFi. And that would include, yes, Kronos and the DeFi chain and the project that Crypto.com has been working on through this bear market and at the end of the last bull market, Crypto.com's DeFi app. Yep. So we got to take a look at this. We got to see what the impacts of the overall crypto market could be here. The big story of the day is FTX's Sam Bankman Freed and some legislation that is going on in the US government that could, quote, kill DeFi. We're going to talk about that and more and the impacts that that might have on crypto.com and the crypto market. Am I scared? Am I buying? What is my thought on this new story? If you guys like this kind of content, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. We do three videos every single day. And when we hit 10,000 subscribers on the channel, yes, we are going to give away $1,000 worth of Bitcoin to one lucky subscriber out there. So you don't want to miss out on that. Let's take a peek at these crypto markets, guys. Let's see what's going on. Uh, and it is a little disappointing. So, I mean, we are looking at a 9.12, uh, $912 billion market cap right now. 40% Bitcoin dominance, which is good, but... I just feel like every time I've done a video for the past three months, we've seen a nineteen to twenty thousand dollar Bitcoin and a twelve hundred to thirteen hundred dollar Ethereum, and that's the same story here. But why? Well, it's because there's a lot going on now. I'm gonna take out a new position here. I've talked about it in the past, but Crypto.com and Binance, those are two of the largest exchanges in the world, next to, of course, Coinbase, which is more centralized. And of course, FTX, which is also uh, increasingly so uh, showing to be more centralized. And um, we're going to talk a little bit more about this because I've talked about in some previous videos that Binance has Binance Smart Chain and Crypto.com has the Kronos DeFi chain. But FTX does not have a DeFi protocol. It does not have a DeFi play at all. There's no smart contract associated with FTX, it's a centralized exchange where you can buy and trade digital currencies. And I think even some of these uh, commodities like, you know, gold and you can trade SP 500, things like that, I believe, or they're working on that. But they have definitively taken a stance uh, different than Binance Coin and uh, Crypto.com recently. Why am I saying this? Well, let's get kind of into some of the stories of the day. Um, there is a leaked draft that came out recently of U.S. Congress's DeFi killer bill. Uh, and this is sparking some serious debate. I watched uh, BitBoy Crypto today. Smash up the like button if you like BitBoy. Uh, smash up the like button if you don't. But, you know, he was going on a huge rant. If you haven't seen it, I highly suggest you check it out. It's, it's actually a really great video where you really see his passion. Uh, but, you know, he is talking about how this bill is very, very scary. I mean, you can see on camera he's shaking. He's very, very torn up. Uh, and it's for good reason, because right now there's a bill that's basically suggesting that DeFi projects need to start working in the way that centralized exchanges do, which would essentially... Uh, make some of these DeFi projects illegal. They'd be able to potentially block transactions, things like this. Some very, very, uh, very bad things that, that could really hurt the crypto markets, specifically projects like Ethereum, the second largest crypto out there, which has the largest DeFi ecosystem, Avalanche, Kronos, Solana, you name it, Binance, Smart Chain. All these projects are under the gun here with with this but uh actually kind of interesting where sam bankman freed uh right now with ftx is backing the bill which is actually very shocking to some in the space uh and a lot of people are pretty upset now i'm gonna kind of like sit back and watch the stories unfold with this and we'll keep you guys up to date but uh you know we've talked about on the channel that sam bankman freed is somebody that has donated to political campaigns in the in, in the past, and the accusation right now is that uh, he's getting more political than he is uh, crypto friendly. And, uh, you know, when I think about it, the fact that he doesn't have a smart contract play, that he doesn't get into DeFi, 
uh, him backing a bill that would squash DeFi would actually be a very, very good thing for him and his company and their pockets because if everybody else is not compliant with that, well then they gotta start disassociating themselves with that. The money would start then flowing out of DeFi protocols and into centralized entities. And that might be one of the goals here. Now I'm not going to go out and I'm not gonna throw FTX and Sam Bingham Freed uh, under the bus quite yet. We gotta see how the story unfolds, but I gotta call it out in that this is becoming a key differentiator between Kronos and Binance. So the way, uh, and FTX. So the way that I'm looking at it right now is Kronos and Binance are kind of fighting one fight and FTX seems like it's kind of fighting another fight right now. And so all the times I have talked about FTX coin in the past, uh, this kind of makes me think, you know, I, I really wanted to get more FTX tokens, but if they're kind of trying to potentially back a bill that squashes DeFi, then I don't know if I personally want to get behind that. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments section down below, by the way. Uh, let me, this is important to note. This is an article by Coindesk. Um, Sam Bankman fried the head of crypto exchange FTX, in an interview with Politico, backtracked on his remarks that he would donate up to $1 billion in the next US presidential election. Earlier this year, he said that he would spend north of $100 million on future political campaigns, but he took back the statement, and now he's actually calling it a dumb quote and is not potentially planning on donating. So it's very, very interesting that some uh, folks out there believe that he's backing, yes, this bill, which he has come out and he said he's backing the bill, uh, and that he's kind of in bed with some politicians, but at the same time, now he is kind of pulling back his money. And I've seen some articles attacking Sam Bankman fried from some of these uh, political sides that had previously gotten some of his funding, and now they're kind of attacking him. So he's really putting himself in a very interesting position and everybody's looking to Sam Bankman fried right now to kind of see, okay, is he pro-crypto? Is he uh, more of a politician? Is he trying to squash DeFi so that he gets more money with the exchange? Or what's the long play here? But one thing's for sure, uh, he is in the spotlight and they have differentiated themselves from smart contract plays, from DeFi protocols. And that is gonna be very, very interesting for the future of the project moving forward and it's going to be also very interesting to see how this and the bill affects crypto.com and binance smart chain because if DeFi DeFi gets crushed then exchanges like binance and crypto.com will certainly take a hit a large hit because a big part of what they do is their smart contract plays uh and their DeFi protocols that being said, they have a large centralized exchange entity to them as well, so they should survive if this bill passes and squashes DeFi, but for the record, I'm not saying that DeFi is dead or will die. This is just something to keep an eye on, and folks are panicking. Now, what am I doing right now? Well, I gotta look at more stories here. I'm gonna continue on this one. The skeptics are decrying that the bill uh, is an SBF's industry norms manual as is bad for DeFi. So this is uh, something that folks are really concerned about. Look, I mean, and, and Sam Bankman fried is now becoming a target. Now, I don't like what I'm hearing. I'm going to give Sam Bankman fried a chance here, right? It's, it's not political. It has nothing to do with politics. It all has to do with if he's backing a bill that will truly kill DeFi, then that's something that is a red flag. It's concerning. And then it, it makes you wonder if one of these large crypto exchanges is actually on the uh, side of true crypto community folks. Uh, because the point of crypto is peer-to-peer -peer transactions. And if this bill threatens peer-to-peer -peer transactions and forces us to have an intermediary and it kills DeFi, then that doesn't comply with the crypto community's dream and the, and the whole purpose. Now, some folks I got to acknowledge are in crypto just for the money, but I can tell you right now, I'm not in it just for the money. Of course, I'm here to get rich. If you smash your like button, if you want to make some money, if you want to get rich on crypto, but also smash your like button if you really believe in crypto, you believe in what DeFi offers, and you believe in that we don't need to pay these intermediaries and these intermediaries, these middlemen who want to set all these rules and regulations for us that benefit the rich. You know, that's a concern. So it's yet to be determined truly whether or not Sam Pigman Freed, uh, you know, is on the crypto community side or on more of the legislators side. And 
large, um, you know, big, big banks and some of the rich and the wealthy, right? Uh, right now, it's not looking good and he's under attack. So what's the point of this video? Why am I talking so much about crypto.com? Well, guys, I've talked a lot about how FTX is a big player and a competitor to uh, crypto.com and Binance. This story changes the game. It changes the name of FTX. If this is true, if this is remotely true, then folks, this is very bullish for crypto.com. So long as this crypto bill gets squashed, so long as at least if this crypto bill doesn't get squashed, it doesn't squash DeFi. Now, if DeFi lives, Kronos and Binance are now in a much better position, much stronger in my opinion, versus FTX. If FTX's bill gets passed, then any project tied to DeFi is going to take a huge hit and FTX will become a world power of crypto. Coinbase isn't really that strong right now. This could be FTX's opportunity potentially to, to go out in front of the pack and lead the market. So, you know, you got to kind of ask yourself a question. Are you a fan of cryptocurrency? What is cryptocurrency to you? Is it more about DeFi? Is it more about peer-to-peer -peer transactions or is it about making money and you don't care what happens and when regulation cracks down you know you're just going to go with the flow it's a great question i'd love to know what you think down in the chat box down below but guys i'm going to say this you know crypto.com coin is going to be affected by this news one way or another we're currently at 10 cents a lot of folks are talking about whether or not bitcoin can go down to fourteen thousand dollars for the bottom which might happen around december if that does end up happening well then you'd be looking at probably about a four to five cents CRO, which means with about $1,000, you could easily buy 5,000 CRO in a snap of a finger. That would be very, very simple for you to do. Uh, guys, the opportunity to DCA is still here. While these stories are coming out and people are panicking, I'm doubling down. Why? Because I believe in crypto. I believe crypto is too big to kill. I believe the community will rally behind this legislation and veto and veto. And you see there are a lot of friends in the government that support crypto. And you're going to see in the next presidential election, uh, mark my words, crypto is going to be a huge topic. It will be a huge topic. You will see it. Unfortunately, cryptocurrency starting to get political, but we're not going to. We're just going to sit on the sidelines. We're going to DCA and we're going to believe in the vision of crypto. Smash the like button if you're with me. That's all I got in today's video. I'm Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, you've got to remember to DCA HODL, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody. I got two videos for you right here if you'd like to check them out. Peace.